Hi everyone! In this video, I'll be doing a showcasing of my cannon build for the Walker class, otherwise known as the USS Sunzo or the ISS Sunzo, as seen in the first season of Star Trek Discovery. So, uh, the Walker class is uh, my favorite Star Trek Discovery design, other than the Enterprise. Mostly because uh, she looks very, um, well, unique in, uh, in terms of Starfleet ships. So, a uh, very simple design, a saucer and nacelles and pylons, and the secondary hull is uh, nice and small. So, uh, she has a bridge between the NX-01 to um, later designs that we see in Starfleet. Also, very unique to this vessel is um, the bridge dome at the bottom of the saucer, compared to most well, actually, every other um, Starfleet vessel, which has a bridge dome at the top of the saucer. Now, space doesn't have a up and down, but in Star Trek, we see ships aligning themselves to each other and disaligning when, uh, you know, flying away or... Yeah. For example, we see the Kronos-1 aligning to the Enterprise in Star Trek Six, and we see Discovery disaligning herself from the Enterprise in, I believe it was the first episode of season two of Discovery. So, I like when uh, in Star Trek they demonstrate that no, the, sh the, the galaxy is not on a simple uh, plane. But, as uh, lore aside, let's cover the build. Because that's what you guys are here for, right? <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna go into traits. I didn't go into traits for my other theme builds as a uh, Theme builds are mostly just for visuals, and the other stuff is not so important, but I want to highlight on uh, Vulcan Hello, which is um, the trait that can be unlocked for this uh, ship. So aptly named, it's uh, what Michael Burnham suggests um, Captain Giorgio doing um, to the, uh, when they encountered the Klingons. So this uh, trait adds armor penetration and shield penetration, so Strike first, strike hard, basically. It is only logical. You guys can read this if you want to, but I'm not going to bore you guys, so i um, going to move on. Um, the character is not one of the ones I developed so much on uh, compared to others, so he doesn't, he doesn't have as many um, reputation traits, but these are adequate. And some just basic um, personal space traits and a few traits such as these for boosting damage, boosting efficiency, and survivability. But let's get to the visual, which is what makes this ship, uh, what, what makes this build canon. So, uh, I got the basic suite of, um, phaser damage boosting, um, consoles, and this one just boosts directed energy in general. This one also boosts phase of damage. These two for survivability. The Xenotech Re Resilience module for uh, hull penetration from the K-13 fruit holding. Um, there's the obfuscation screen which comes with this ship, which I also use in my other uh, builds on that other character with the Enterprise and all that. And uh, vulnerability locator phase, uh, phaser variant for, uh, well, more damage boosting. Now, I did wish that this ship had more tactical consoles, but she does pretty well, and she's pretty good at tanking, which I believe is the focus of this ship. Of course, uh, sensor-length phaser beam arrays. These you can get in the exchange for pretty expensive, because uh, they're pretty good. And uh, I got six of them fully upgraded with uh, damage modifiers. And prototype photon torpedoes from the Mishran Secrets. We have a situation at the Delta Valonis. As they are um, screen accurate to uh, discovery. So unlike the advanced um, torpedoes on the Discovery Era Enterprise that I covered in the previous video, these can be upgraded, so thank goodness for that. <laughs> and these just for my tank DPS hybrid build. And I guess if you guys want to look at my skills, here they are. 
This build is mostly damage focused, so I got uh, 27 in tactical, beast force survivability, uh, hulk capacity, uh, impulse for, well, a decent turn rate, damage control, and some um, resistances. Right. So, as I said, we're, uh, did I say that? Yeah. We're not, we're not going to do our gala this time, um, for the sake of variety, so we're going to do the ninth rule for a combat demonstration. Let's get to it. Looks like there were- Good wait, our friend. Uh, sorry. Okay. The Carter is ready to assist you. All oh, right, she does Either have a way. Sure, God will follow. Reading a single Ferengi huh. vessel, Marauder class. They've decloaked. So she does have a unique bridge. Uh, well, it's not unique, but it's a matching bridge to uh, her bridge dome. So we're going to cover that after this. Let's get to it.
Okay, so there's the common demonstration. Let's head to the bridge. Now before that, notice the details on this bridge dome. Two small windows on either side, and three large ones up front. So let's get to the bridge. Okay, so this is the bridge, the matching bridge to the Senzo, or uh, Walker class. And it's also available on most um, Discovery Era ships, so that's nice. Anyways, three large windows, and the two large windows on either side. So nice detailing. Also, there's these open uh, windowed floors to uh, see the bottom of whatever is below the ship. Now, unfortunately, this is, um, un uh, unlike the, uh, what am I saying? The other, um, uh, Discovery Era ships uh, that get to use this uh, bridge don't match up so well because their bridge dome is, of course, on top of the, uh, of the saucer. But anyways, at least it ha they have a nice looking bridge. Anyways, select small crafts. Uh, account bank. Library files and operations and counselor and duty officers. So, um, one nitpick I have on this bridge is that you can only get one of your own uh, bridge officers. The other ones are all generic for some reason. Also, these two are not in the correct uniform. I guess the developers didn't decide to uh, get that right, but that's fine. They look okay overall. It's mostly these two that bother me a lot. Anyways, there's a nice captain's chair. And yeah, it's it's a very screen accurate um, bridge. Also, it doesn't have the ready room that would be around this area, but that's okay. It does come with a, a turbo lift that goes nowhere. <laughs> but uh, it's nice for role playing purposes, I guess. If you can walk deep enough into it, the doors close, and if you start walking, they open. So yeah, it's good for uh, role-playing if you're into that, and... Overall, I'd say it's a very nice bridge. So that's the review and uh, showcase of this canon build of the Walker class. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. Please subscribe and ring the notification bell if you haven't already, to be notified of my future videos. And... Plus it's free, so why not? And it helps me quite a lot, so please, uh, please do. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye!